just want to sneak in at the beginning of this video to say I'm testing out posting on Saturdays instead of Fridays. The main reason being so that the streams and the vlog upload days don't overlap exactly. It just helps spread the content out a little bit. So yeah, posting on Saturdays. This room is a mess. This room is a mess. <laughs> it's a giant mess. Oh, I just pulled stuff off this desk, although I've just been shoving it over here. So uh, <laughs> yeah, it's currently Friday, May 27th. And I figured let's just start recording the next vlog today. I don't usually vlog on Fridays. Today is normally a game stream day, but there's a lot to do in terms of store prep. So I just wanna go hard on enamel pins. And I don't know if I'll get through all of them before the shop update. I doubt I would sell out of all 1000 right away. And I think I have 400 done. So if I did another 200 today, maybe 300, then that would be probably enough. But if the sketchbooks take longer to get here, then I do have time to do more. The sketchbooks are always the big unknown factor. And because I don't know how long they're going to sit at the port here in Vancouver, I can't, I can't commit to a shop opening day because they could be here next week. They could be here four weeks from now. I don't know. So I just need to be as prepared as possible for when they get here. So I can open my shop as quickly as possible because we're moving soon and I need to offload stuff before I go. So I'm just gonna tidy up in here a little bit. At least get my pin packaging station all set up. I can probably bring some of these down. Oh, but do I have a count on those? <gasps> I forget how many are in the base. I'll have to recount them because I've been labeling these all with their stock count. Oh, wait, how come the bottom one doesn't have a label? Oh, it's not. <laughs> it's not a full one, okay. I mean, I do have a big bin empty now that I could just put a bunch of pins in. But since I've already put so many into these smaller ones, I don't know if I need the big bin. Big bins like these ones. In the last vlog, you saw me transfer my acrylic charms into these containers, so that's why I have an extra big bin. Okay, we already have some A grades there, so I'm gonna put these somewhere else. Oh, I have some down there. Can I just stack right on top? Well, let's grab for you just in case. My Friday streams tend to be pretty long, and today I do plan on extending as I usually do, so I'll probably go through these three bags and then switch to games. Wait a minute, I also have this bucket. Ho oh, ho, you know, maybe I will use it. So yeah, 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 sure, why not? Let's use that for the A grades, and I'll just grab one small bucket for the B grades. Okay, hair is now curled. I brush my teeth. Coffee, number two is brewing. So, all was going well with the pin packing. It's pretty standard procedure. I've done it a ton of times before. And because some of the sounds can be loud, especially the glassine, I was wearing my new wireless lav mic because it just makes it sound so much better when doing these kinds of streams. And so that's no problem. I just made sure I take it off every time I went pee. I had to take it off and I, I was drinking a lot of coffee and water and I had some juice at one point so went pee like three times no problem took the mic off every time and then I had the urge to poo and I was waiting for it to be like really ready because I don't like just sitting on the toilet forever waiting for it to arrive I'm like no I'm gonna wait till I really gotta go and then I'll go and so that's what I did I had to run off urgently like peace out gonna poo and uh, <clears throat> I did not remove the microphone. So <laughs> I was wearing the microphone clipped to the top of my sweater. It was clipped right there, right by my mouth. I went into the bathroom and proceeded to have very violent diarrhea. It was splattery. It was loud. And it took me two and a half minutes to realize. I wasn't sure. I knew it was a few minutes. I checked the footage two minutes and 28 seconds. That's how long it took me to realize that there was a microphone on me still. And so the whole stream heard everything. They heard everything. They got a front row seat to the whole thing. And I was mortified. I just, when I realized I screamed and I've got the scream here for you. I'm not going to play the poo sounds. I haven't even listened back to that part because I just can't, I cannot bring myself to do that. But I'll show you the screams from when I realized. 
Oh god. It's for the Star Wars celebration. Oh. <laughs> okay, I think I gotta go. It's time, it's time. Oh my god, my mic is on. Oh my fucking god. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god. So I had to shut off the stream so I could delete the recording and I came back a little while later, like maybe 15 or 20 minutes later, and I'm just like, how am I going to show my face? So I put on sunglasses and I sat there while playing the song Untitled by Simple Plan. It's the one that's like, how could this happen to me? I've made my mistakes. I let that song play in its entirety and then resumed streaming and played some Fall Guys, but I, I just can't believe I did that to you guys. I can't believe, if you were there for the poo sounds, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. It's just horrible. I, I was mortified. I mean, I still kind of am, but I, I just, Welcome back, everyone. <laughs> the lyrics are like making me crack up. I was trying so hard not to laugh. <laughs> it's like, I try to make a sound, but no one hears me. And I'm like, oh, they heard it. I'm, I'm too scared to scroll up and see what everyone was saying at the time of the incident. I deleted the VOD, which is why I shut the stream off, because like I can't delete it while I'm still streaming. <laughs> And I deleted the clips people made of it. There are four people clipped that. Was I grunting or like making any noises? I hope. Oh God, I probably was. The groan? Wait, there was a groan. <laughs> Number two is Bruin. Number two is Bruin. Okay, it is now Monday and uh, I'm just, I got... I can't even talk. We have a lot going on this week with house stuff. Although it felt like there was a lot going on last week too with organizing things and contacting various people. Today we have a meeting with our lawyers to sign documents. We're doing it over Zoom so that we don't have to go to Calgary. So I've been setting up for that, making sure everything's good. I've got stuff printed off. Last night I was scanning our IDs and signing other stuff that I just sent to them before the meeting. And I think I'm ready for the actual meeting. It's in about 45 minutes, so yeah. And Wednesday is possession date, so we have to go to Calgary for that. And then Thursday, we have someone coming to look at the place to see how much stuff we have and give us a weight that we can then use to get quotes from different places. And then on Saturday, my brother and my sister-in-law are coming to visit for a few days, so it's gonna be busy. <laughs> I'm trying to squeeze in some shop prep stuff between all that. What I'll probably do right now before the meeting is just get orders imported into chit chats and ready, maybe start printing off some labels. And I think I'm gonna redo a video I filmed last week. I did this real time packaging video and it's even edited, has a thumbnail, everything, but it was recorded with the mic connected to my camera, which was a problem because the mic, the camera's internal volume was way too high, I guess, like when I'm just, Talking like this, it's normal, but when I attach a mic, it's way too loud. And so I have to turn down the volume in the camera and I just feel like this is a good chance to redo that video. <laughs> it has very minimal editing because it's a real time video. So I feel like I would rather just redo it. Although I probably cannot uh, film that till after the meeting. But after the lawyer meeting, I have to go to the bank to get a bank draft for like the remainder of the down payment and lawyer fees and stuff and then take the signed documents with it and 
overnight mail it to the lawyer. So I have to go to UPS or something. So I'll hit up the bank, then UPS, and then I can package everything. And then hopefully there's time to get to chit chats today. Otherwise I'll have to drop them off tomorrow morning, but I'll at least get them packaged today. They do close at like five or six, so. I think six, they close at six. So I might make it. Depends how long it takes me to package everything. Oh, I really need a, a trim to clean up these ends. Whenever I wear a dark shirt, I'm like, oh. We did the lawyer stuff. I went to the bank, went to UPS, everything's sent out. And now I'm just gonna make a coffee for my packaging session. Oh, and I also just ate, because I haven't, hadn't eaten yet. So I had some tacos for lunch. I keep feeling like I have to stay in front of the camera. I'm mic'd up right now. Oh no, mic'd up after tacos. Oh wait, wait, which mug was I using? Where is it? Maybe it's downstairs. Oh no, it's right here. Okay, I got it. I set up everything for the order packaging recording before heading out, which is why I'm using the mic now because I've already fiddled with the camera settings so that it's not all blown out sounding. <laughs> the only annoying thing about this is I'll have to go back and set the setting to what it was previously before I record without the mic. Okay, it's blowing. So yeah, I'm gonna go package now and um, the footage will be uploaded sometime in July. Just one of those weeks where I'm too busy to post something, I'll have this one ready so you can watch it and just have something. It's a real-time packaging video that you can have on in the background while you work on stuff. Now, instead of showing some of the packaging, since that's gonna be a separate video, I'm gonna give a shout out to my friend, Emily. You may know her as Saku Ems, and she's trying to clear some of her shop inventory right now and asked if I could give her a shout out, so why not? She has so much stuff available on her Etsy. She's got prints, she's got originals, she's got coloring pages. Her art is gorgeous, so check out her Etsy shop, see if there's something you like. You can even use the code SAKUBAILEY10 to get 10% off. I'll also have a link in the video description if you'd like. There's no kickback to me, just helping out a friend, so yeah, check it out. So there are the packages I just did. Da 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 da. Okay, I'm back from chit chats and now I can actually film stuff I can show you, yay! <laughs> My stomach is not happy after eating lunch. I think whatever stomach bug or whatever issue I had on the weekend is still lingering, but at least I'm functional, so let's carry on. <laughs> I am here for sticker paper. I'm gonna make this teddy bear doodle that I did in the last video as the freebie sticker. It was a request I got in the comments and I thought that was a genius idea. So I just wanna, you know, make sure the printer's working and just get everything ready because I'm gonna work on that tomorrow during the live stream. I must be prepared. What is the software doing? Why is it so big? It's like spread across both monitors here. <laughs> Wait, this is different. Where's my little ad thing on the side? Here we go. Wait, no, not new. I wanna upload. Here we go. I have a version I just made where I added a white border because the this artwork has a chalky textured outer border. So I added a plain white border for the, the Cricut to cut. Okay, add that to canvas. Yeah, that really is big, whoa. Now the exact size is gonna depend on how many I can fit here. People always ask me how I get this to be a full page using Cricut. There's no secret, you just have to fill the whole page. Once the registration marks are added, it sort of looks like it's a full page, but it's not. We'll see, align, top, attach, duplicate. These are square, so I might not be able to maximize space as much as a normal. Oh my god, I'm getting that illusion where you see black dots between each thing. <laughs> and align left. Grab them all, attach. So yeah, the, the limits for the canvas, like you can input numbers up here. So for the width, it has to be 6.75. So I'll input that. Mm, yeah, we're gonna have a little bit of waste of space at the bottom. Because the height's 8.3, but you can go 9.25. So that's just what it's gonna have to be. We'll have a bit of wasted space at the bottom. Now let's try printing it and see if my printer behaves. That feels like it's printing way too fast. I said quality high. It should go slow. Oh my goodness. 
<laughs> no. Our little strips of cyan. <laughs> I mean, it's an interesting look, but uh, okay. I literally went to the printer settings right before this. What happened? Use system dialog. This is back to standard. I literally changed it to high and clicked always print with current settings. Now I'm still scared for the blue. Maybe I should do these test prints on regular printer paper, not on my <laughs> sticker paper. I mean, ultimately you want to see how it looks on the actual sticker paper, but at least for scoping out the blue situation, probably could have just used a cheap piece of paper. Oh, I'm zoomed in. No wonder that felt weird. <laughs> Oh, that's still streaky. Way better than the first printout, but... Oh. oh, Cyan, my nemesis. There's the difference there with the standard quality versus high quality. Oh my god, it's giving me that dot effect still. Ah! <laughs> Looking at this is making me feel weird. I see dots between each thingy here. But yeah, I'll try some nozzle cleanings and uh, update you in a bit. This sheet starts with blue and then gradually loses the blue. One thing I could do is just make it a purple sky instead of a blue sky, like kind of pinky down here instead. Well, after some trial and error, I think I've arrived at a printout that I like. It doesn't quite match the original, it's more purple, and the background, you don't see as much of the red tones, like it looks a bit darker than that, but uh, I think this looks really cute. And that is why I wanted this done today instead of fighting with this tomorrow on stream. I had to go back in a few times to tweak the actual Photoshop file. So yeah, lots of back and forth, but we figuring it out for the most part. <laughs> While that prints, I'm gonna start on some food and I hope my stomach doesn't hate me for it, but I wanna use up some stuff in the freezer cause we're gonna be moving and so I'm trying to use things up. So I have this old bag of hash browns to use. There's a single burger patty. Kinda wish there were two or three, but that'll have to do. We still have cheese left over from our Victoria trip that got pawned off on us. And we have some eggs that are just gonna go bad soon. We got leftover chives from the trip too. I think there's still some cut up in here. It's like a mix of the green onion and chive from our tacos. Okay, here's the pan scrambler. The amount of meat doesn't actually look so bad. One more patty still would've been nice, but yeah. I put some salsa in there, because I wanted some tomato, and we didn't have any more tomato, so. A little bit of salsa. Me. My stomach hurts when I eat. Also me eats old greasy food from the back of the freezer. I'm changing a couple cartridges. They're not really empty yet, but usually by the time the computer shows it's out of ink, it's like really low. So here's black. Yellow actually has more than I thought it would, but I'll just refill both. Thanks Kiki for the background noise there. I'm doing a bit of packing just because I haven't done enough these past days. Oh, Spider Bro did survive. I went downstairs with this box, he rode with me. I taped the bottom, came back up, 
He's still chilling. I go to use this after letting Christian borrow it. The nib is ripped off. It's supposed to be a dome tip. There's like plastic right on the tip there. So it still writes, but it's a little awkward. I'm ruining my stuff. But yeah, I wrote scrapbooks and inks because I want to grab all those. I guess I could have wrote sketchbooks too. Uh, yeah. I can't do this one hand and everything's slipping out. So this thing's now completely empty. I have a few more items that were in it that I need to put somewhere. I put these boxes inside this long boy. Those have 3D pen supplies. And I'm trying to figure out what else to put in there. Because I still need some of this. Oh, I guess this stuff can go in there. Oh, that is perfect. I might need that. This thing I think can stay as is with the stuff in it. I might wrap some of that industrial saran wrap around it just so the drawers don't come out, although they are a little bit hard to pull out, but that stuff can all stay in there. I might tackle more of the wall art because those would probably fit in this box. Those square ones for sure would. I purposely kept out one apron <laughs> and the Mickey ears I guess could be packed. That needs to get all bundled up. And there's also Mr. Skeleton there. I brought up this drawer from the basement because it has a lot of prints in it and those would go well in this box. Okay, this box ended up with all kinds of stuff in it from diamond paintings to Mickey ears, some plants, some art supplies, all those prints and some of my original artwork on the bottom and many more things. So that one's done. Okay, it's now the next day and I've just been doing the final setup for the stream today. I'm running a little early because I woke up before my alarm, so it's been nice. And I actually went through the rest of my planner pads, quality checking them. I still have to go through the notepads, but since I had time to kill, I did that. And I got the final printouts done because some ink ran out overnight. And you know what I remembered? The last time I refilled my magenta cartridge, I accidentally refilled it with the wrong magenta because there are two magenta cartridges. And so I put the photo magenta into the regular magenta. And I forgot about that until it ran out again and I had to refill it. And I was like, wait a minute, I forgot I did that. But like, I realized immediately after I filled it that I made that mistake and I just thought, well, let's see what happens, I guess, because <laughs> it's not like I could remove the ink. It was in there. And so that was probably like a few months ago that I did that. So I forgot that I did that. And since I refilled it, the color has come out different. <laughs> so this was upon refilling the magenta with the correct magenta. And this was before. So these ones look a little more cool toned. You can see it's a little more bluish. This one looks a little more of a pinky purple. So technically this sky is closer to the original since the original sky was blue. But this one has the more accurate brown in the background. Like the sky and ground are supposed to be a warm brown. And on this one, it's like, it's more muted. So this has the more accurate bluish and this has the more accurate brownish. And most of them are gonna be the bluish one because that's how most of them printed out. I just have a handful from this morning that um, have the other color, but it's fine. Like it's a freebie sticker. They both look good. They both look good in their own way. Look at all this. <laughs> so if my count was correct, that should be, I printed 20 sheets four times. So that's 80 sheets. Well, plus there was one extra. So let's say 81. And there are 20 stickers per sheet. So I should have enough for a little over 1600. I'm sure there are gonna be some miscuts with the Cricut, but um, 
yeah, that's just the amount we're starting with. And then whatever we end up with after defects is just what we end up with. So ooh, I'm going to do that during today's stream. I don't know if it's going to take the whole stream or not. And if not, I'm going to paint my nails to end the stream because <laughs> they really need to be done. They're getting so discolored and grown out and my nails are just so long. So yeah, that's the plan for today. And then I have to try to go to bed early since I got to be up early. I got to wake up at 3 a.m. 3 a.m. Because we're going to Calgary tomorrow <laughs> for possession. So, ah. Okay, first sheet looks mostly all right. It started cutting a bit low as it got to the bottom. But other than that, pretty good. I have the whole stack up here because I was trying to get a thumbnail for the stream. And then I was like, wait, I'm going to cut some stickers so I have some loose ones for the thumbnail. It'd be cute if they were all stuck down here. I want the mega stack visible too. Okay. Okay, here's the pick. The background's kind of meh. You can see the camera, but <laughs> it'll work. I have a shortcut set so that if I hit TTVB and hit space, it just inputs my Twitch link. <laughs> okay, I'm not actually live yet, so let's not hit send on that. Also, note to self, you're wearing the mic. Let's not have a repeat of the poo incident. Okay, okay. Update, the stickers are cutting just fine. All better than that first sheet. You know, the first sheet was a little low. The rest have been great. I keep seeing those dots between each square, which is making me a little dizzy, but <laughs> we got this much done. Yeah, that container is probably not gonna be big enough. It's okay, I have more. I don't always have the next sheet ready by the time it's done because it's just cutting a simple square with rounded corners. So Carol's really speedy for these stickers compared to usual. I spoke too soon. <laughs> okay, I've switched to my blue mats because I forgot about them. <laughs> we were talking about like mat stickiness and I was mentioning this glue I have that's like almost too tacky. And I was like, but that'd probably work well for these sticker sheets since the back is so slick. And then Desi and chat was like, didn't you do that last time with your mats? Didn't you use that glue? And I was like, you know, you're probably right. I don't remember, I just forget. Every time I go to make these stickers, I forget everything. But sure enough, I have that glue on these blue ones. So yeah, I've switched to the blue mats. I'm still taping the top two corners, but this is, <laughs> this is way nicer, yay. <laughs> and these stickers are done. Got those and those. It really doesn't look like much compared to the, <laughs> the printed out sheets, but there they are. I think I went straight into recording the next vlog without even filming an outro for this one. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next Saturday for the next video. Saturday uploads now. And the next video is going to be a little house tour for you. And I'm going to show off my new art room. So be on the lookout for that. Thank you. See you in the next one. Let's just start drawing a bunny. See what happens. And so first I just drew like an outfit idea for a bunny I guess just something basic and then I was drawing a bunny that was maybe going to be sipping a cup but I quickly abandoned that and drew a bunny sitting on a log which I changed